Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to present our marketing research project on the case Harvey Norman. So the current target for Harvey Norman is mid the mid thirties. Um, they realize that the future purchasing powers are the generation Y because um, it's a fast gro gro growing trend and on using online platforms. So they um, deeply study into generation Y. The key challenges of Harvey Norman now is the fulfillment problem, which they, they are, their IT systems are complex and fail to provide accurate um, and clear shipping information to the customers. The second problem is the pricing and ranging problem. Um, the lack of coherence between um, actual store and online platform, which um, they can not provide an, an actual price uh, pricing system to the customers. And the third thing is um, they don't have a good result on online sales, uh, which uh, this is shown in the frequency of views of the online platform. So we have come up um, the problem statement, which um, our managerial decision problem is how can Harvey Norman influence online uh, window shoppers in making purchasing decision, which this is to increase their online sales. Uh, the second thing is the market a research problem is to identify crucial factors influencing Harvey Norman's online window shoppers in making purchase uh, with decisions from multiple platforms in order to increase their sales. So we have come up uh, with a few research design and methodology. Uh, firstly, we use pilot, de pilot de testing for surveys before uh, we collect the actual data. We distribute surveys for interviews and focus groups to um, a large sample number of 60 people um, for feedbacks before we collect the actual data. And then we got in-depth interviews. Um, we got eight to 10 interviews in, uh, in each group and it was ranged between 30 to 60 minutes um, for each interview. And we got another focus group for um, collecting information. We got three mini focus groups um, that was, were conducted. Um, each group included five to six people and um, each section was uh, 45 to 60 minutes. And now we'll have um, reader to introduce the research question one. The research question one, to compare the underlying factors, generation Y keep important when selecting buying online retailer and physical store. The rationale is objective to to discover the underlying motivation when buying online and in-store so that Harvey Norman can implement this to the promotional strategies. The key findings, I got four key findings here. First, Gen Y likes to be offered many choices. Product inspection minimizes future dissonance. Big purchases are sensitive and scamming and spamming are the biggest issues. The implementation is Customer demand more product category, which could increase age Harvey Norman sales, and then lesser dissonance leads to brand loyalty to Harvey Norman, and then positive relationship of big purchase to consumer attitude, and then weak security leads Harvey Norman to legal problems. Next, you are moving to research question three. Two. Two. So research question two is to evaluate the current features of Harvey Norman. The key findings are firstly, potential customers are gener generally satisfied with the features of the website including navigations, colors, uh, layouts and functionalities etc. And secondly, the review sections can have great impacts on the purchasing decision provided that the number of reviews is enough. And thirdly, the effects of social media vary among respondents. Half of them did not think that social media have a major impact on their purchasing decision, while the other half do. And finally, the reasons for window shopping include searching for price, store locations, and reviews. So here we've got the, our third research question, which is to determine factors that could create successful and superior on our platform experience for Harvey Norman versus other retailers. And we realized that um, customers actually cannot define uh, Harvey Norman in a clear position. So, um, and they think that the variety of goods that provided by Harvey Norman is really too wide. 
So they, um, therefore, um, Harvey Norman cannot attract a very high popularity on their um, online platform relative to other department stores. And we now got um, our research question four. Research question four is to determine the level of post-purchase satisfaction from Harvey Norman or other store. The key findings are after sales service is very important in terms of post-purchase satisfaction. Yet follow-up calls and emails are generally unwelcome. Loyalty programs, on the other hand, if they did provide more benefits, are considered helpful. Also, a good and bad, a good or bad experience can have greatly can have great impact on the purchasing decision. Also, a good or, or bad experience can greatly affect a company's brand image. Timely handlings of customers' complaint can actually improve the company's reputation. The improvements regarding after-sales service that can be made include precise delivery and timely handlings of complaints. However, some of the respondents feel that a good after-sales service is not to bother as much and only respond when being addressed. Mm. So if the company can do all of this, it's likely that the customers will be more satisfied. For objective five, so to investigate the shopping difference for retail and e-retail varies between genders in Generation Y. So um, this ob objective will discover the visible act of making a purchase that lie on the information search step in the purchase decision process. So according to the research that um, we have just done, so there are no significant between male and female between generation Y. So um, the key finding is the price is the most important factor during the purchase decision stage. So more than half of Gen Y rely on their parents for financial help and they are hesitant to make a big purchase unless they are convinced it is necessary. And also, the various network of friends like minor interest group is a large primary influence of Generation Y, and a large majority of them use the social networking to make a decision and report on their experience. So they value the opinions of strangers online as much or more than they do those of immediate family and friends. So their trust of marketing and branded communication is not much. So they won't buy unless if their community of friends ag agree that is a good idea. Okay, so next we will talk about the recommendation. Finally, we come to the recommendation for all our research objective. First, Harvey Norman should persuade Gen Y that it's worth to buy to the in-store. Harvey Norman should create a campaign that help to develop understanding that related to their business activities. Third, H, Harvey Norman must provide in-depth reviews. Fourth, train sales staff with more knowledge of the product. The, the implication of this recommendation is that so, um, customer wouldn't, wouldn't get more dissonance in the future and then set up an IT system which manages the availability of stock and price option between an actual and online store so that customers can get accurate and more timely information about the products that they are going to buy. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you very much.